Finally, it's seven Halloweens just around the corner, and a nonprofit in Wayne County is displaying some creative art around town. Newswatch 16's Courtney Harrison shows us the artistic anatomical figures and how you can get one to make your house the scariest on the block. The Wayne County Arts Alliance recruited some of its bona fide artists to design and decorate 13 different skeletons. These bony beings all have a different theme and will raise money to keep art alive in Wayne County. It's important now to be able to have a project where people can see the wonderful creations of our members. Many of our projects for this year have been canceled due to COVID-19. The Wayne County Arts Alliance reached out to area businesses along Main Street in Honesdale, asking them to support the organization by displaying one of the unique skeletons in storefronts, including Nature's Grace Natural Foods and Deli. I love to have new stuff in the front window to display, to draw on customers, um, and you know, just to get uh, local artists and people in the, in the area to be able to display their stuff. Businesses may also benefit from having these skeletons on display. People who are making a scavenger hunt out of finding all 13 will be visiting places that could use the extra foot traffic. Many are open with limited hours or limited availability now. So if we can help shoppers, audience, people into our area businesses as well as viewing our wonderful artwork, it's a win-win for everyone. Where did it come from? Or I've seen those around, especially with the skeleton. Um, you know, people have been seeing the other ones around town and it creates a sense of community. Um, they love it. For the past six years, the skeletons were auctioned off during a Halloween fundraiser. This year, people will be able to bid on them virtually. The Skeleton Project is our big fundraiser for the year, so we encourage everyone to pick a skeleton and bid on it um, and help us out. The online auction will be open for bidding from October 1st until October 15th. You can find more information on the auction with this story on our website, WNEP.com. Courtney Harrison, Newswatch 16, Wayne County.